and for GW, we'll see a lot of these five. It's not a very deep Colonial team. And these two teams actually met last year in Brooklyn in the A-10 tournament, and GW was successful. Greeno had a big game that game. Here's Garino kicking it out for McDonald. McDonald fighting for his own rebound. Watanabe saves it in the corner, and a fresh shot clock for the Colonials. Being on his first shot attempt. It's his senior night, too, so it's always a little weird when you're playing senior night. You're cognizant of the situation around you. You come in to the game thinking a lot. Athletes don't, they don't have to think. They just like to play. Here's Gordon again. This time missing, and Kevin Larson pulls down the rebound. I thought they got a good look in transition. They'll take that every time. Watanabe. First three-point basket for Utah Watanabe. Oh, Prep's finest buries a triple. GW, 6 of 7 from beyond the arc in this first half. And that's a foul on Maxi Esho of UMass. Esho's confused, but that's a good call. That's great defense by Utah Watanabe sliding over there again. His on-ball defense has improved this season as a freshman. That's Long three from Watanabe, his second of the game. Jabari Hines scoping out a three himself, and Watanabe is there for the rebound. See that possession to settle. You're on the road, you just gave up another triple. Down 11, you've got to find a touch play inside out. Get a touch to Astro, maybe. Let him see if he can go to work. Selling for a step back three, not great. Boy, Jorgensen has one of the hottest hands of anybody on the floor and a timeout taken by UMass. And GW in the middle of a 10-2 run. You see, Trey Davis actually lost his shoe right there. You can see his shoe on the court right there. <laughs> Watanabe picks it up. But Davis, you can't stop playing, even if you got a one shoe. But today they've gotten great looks, a lot of it out of the double team. You saw Larson there. Larson against Lalane. Because of the three-point shooting, you saw they went one-on-one -on -one with the lane again, and of course a tough shot. But Larson's got to be aggressive if they're going to man up against him. Now they double. Joe McDonald out to Garino. Watanabe. His third three-point basket of the first half. I don't think they should double. There's, there's no other way to say it. And UMass really struggling offensively right now. Watanabe again. He cannot miss. Four three-point baskets in this first half for the freshman from Japan. And they shouldn't, but they just kind of pushed him, but didn't mean to be malicious. But nice kick again by Larson, the big fella. And then he just stepped up and buried it. That was a decent closeout by Esho. Good contest, but Watanabe's feeling it right now. Four of five for three-point rain. They lead it in the first few minutes, but the Colonials just torching the Minutemen from three-point range here in the last 10 minutes. Jabari Hines has it pop out. Watanabe is there to get the rebound. The three-point frenzy for yeah. GW. Absolutely. If you freeze here, guys, see the double team comes right here, but their hands are down. They're not obstructing his vision. And you see Joe McDonald back here recognize that Maxi Escher doesn't step back to protect the post, protect the hoop enough. So as we run it now, McDonald's going to stop underneath. He's aware, catches, and he's going to get that ball reversed back to Yuta Watanabe. And there's poor communication out of scramble situations across the first half by the Minutemen. Watanabe wide open, buries a three. They've had nine attempts at the three-point line. Larson has four assists, a bunch of hockey assists because they're still playing through him. Yuta Watanabe leading all scores, the only player in double figures. The freshman from Japan, one of four Japanese-born players in Division I college basketball history. Riva, the weak side rebound for the Colonials. And Tarek Kellogg just kind of shook his head like, hey, don't get a better look than that. He got Lelaine under the basket, but Caddy's got to take his time. Watanabe fires up another three. Get out of his way. He's burning down the house. Poor execution defensively by the Minutemen in terms of knowing the screen is coming, communicating and stepping out and putting the hand up. And now they're going to get a charge going the other way. I mean, see, what's not look Dante at this. Clark. Down through one screen, through two screens. There's Clark just stopped on it. He quit. Esho late switched out. Clark, the freshman, you've got to continue to play through the possession. He got hit with one screen and just stopped in the middle of the paint. Watanabe with 15 points. Them keeping their energy up because he knows they're going to go back in and they want to try to make a run at this thing. There's a long three. And a short. 
Esho kicks it out for Dante Clark. He scoops out a three, can't hit. Very deliberate. Shot clock at six. McDonald on the turnaround. Traded UMass and they got out Max Cooper offense. Now, Watanabe has been a big part of that offense and he continues to be by burying yet another three point basket. Oh! Watanabe has had some kind of day. Six of nine on three-point shots. And his height and his release point, it is hard to contest. And then he, he's first he started jogging back, and then he took off a little bit. That is that is not a foul on him because the contact was created by Dante Clark's off arm. If anything, that's a no call or an offensive foul. Now, GW a season high. 13 of 17 from three-point range and a career-high 18 points for the freshman from Japan, Yuta Watanabe, whose parents also played at a very high level in Japan. His sister is a basketball player back in Japan now. Play overseas, but he's not going anywhere. He's got four good years to work on his game. There's Watanabe again. Oh, now it's just a numbers game. It's like a, a video game where you see if you can beat the high score. You keep tossing it up. And Watanabe, 21 points on 7 of 10 from three-point range. Ten seconds. The shot clock went down to 24. And of course, now, the last year, I believe it was a rule change. The shot clock is what determines the tension. The backcourt 10 seconds and here's Savage just driving and kicking and this kind of sums up the game The help comes almost unnecessarily Kind of half-hearted and the contested it the, the, the closeouts not that difficult the contest isn't that hard Everything's done just not enough by the minute man and GW's made him pay for any slight mistake Ignite the team a little bit, but when he got back in there and got his opportunities he capitalized And now the I believe is done his final exit on his home floor. Action, UMass falling to 17 and 14, 10 and 8 in conference play. Now the Colonials put five players in double figures here today.